So today we are here at Tim Ford Lake, and this is my buddy Casey O'Donnell. We've done videos with him before. Um, we just wanted to kind of switch it up a little bit and go for some smallmouth. Tim Ford is kind of it's it's on the the it's kind of the eastern southeastern side of, of Tennessee, and it's it's known for some smallmouth fishing. I don't know how great it is. Um, I've heard great things about it but we're just gonna go out there and mess around. Yeah, it's gonna be nice to get away from all the traffic, you know, where everyone else has been fishing all year and we get to have it to ourselves today, it looks like. Let's do it. It's cold. Right now we got frost on the ground. We had frost on our on our trucks heading out this morning. And uh, so this is kind of really good weather for smallmouth. I was gonna so. say they should bite. They yeah, should so bite. let's head out there. <laughs> All right, so we're launched right now. Which way should we go? Down towards the dam? I was thinking more t towards the dam, cleaner water, and I hear that there's a turnover kind of up. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I've never been here before, so I'm just looking at the Navionics map and just seeing where uh, the good, good mo high percentage areas are gonna be at. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think it's just gonna be all about finding combinations of rock you know, and figuring out what depth they're in. I do want to throw that crankbait a little bit. I mean, cranking and and, uh, and smallmouth in the cold you know, water tend to go hand in hand. So I definitely want to get that bike going. And this looks like the perfect lake to go cranking on too. It really does. But well, let's get going. Let's get going. I guess it's all about, you know, knowing, having an eye for that particular pattern, you know. Oh, shoot. I thought I was stuck on that log, but I had a good time. Small mouth. The little guy. I literally was just trying to shake that. I mean, he might have ate it on the log. There is a log there. Oh, boy. First fish of the morning. He's a little bit healthier than uh, what I saw at Norris this weekend. About time. Oh, he's going to be Oh, crappie. No crappie. That's a giant smallie. Tuna. That does count. That so totally more, counts. Eleven and a half. So. Got him. Nice. Good one. Oh. This is a dead. It's making it's making some some noise over there. Don't lose him, man. Don't mess up. Oh. Do you need the net? No. You have a GoPro on? Oh yeah, it's on. Oh, oh. yeah! <laughs> That's awesome! He bit, me, he bit me a couple times. Or there's a bunch there. Dude, there, there is a bunch. Because I, I got bit a couple times. Dude, that's... There you go. On the jig. It's long and skinny. Good job. Dude, you have no bat. No idea how bad <laughs> that's awesome all right we're finally figuring it out it's a stupid pattern it's gonna be fun to get on that bite again i got the the winter time butler chain bite it's all schooling offshore yeah, baby. yeah. what is it what is it Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Casey's just crushing it today. Oh yeah. He's healthy. 
Yeah, that's it. This one's way healthier. Way healthier. Oh, that's a beauty. Well, they're here. Where, where'd you pass that? Right, right back to that dock. He was. That's a good one. That's a good one. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Smally, big one. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Ooh. Casey, you're crushing it. Oh yeah, baby. That's a beauty. That is a beauty. Oh, I love it. Dude, it's, it's ridiculous. Okay. I'd say that. Better this year for me. Yeah. That was like my mistake at Neely Henry's. I should have been throwing a spinnerbait that first day. Begging. It's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. It's cool that they're all smallmouth. I just can't catch up with the cases. I don't, I don't think this place has it. Huh? I don't think this place has large mouth. Most definitely and that should be what your deal is, but he's like, well, but we have small mouth there, so like. Oh, God! There he is. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, don't, don't you do it. Don't you do it, don't you do it. Oh! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's a toad. That's a big one. That is awesome. <laughs> Very nice. It's like a three and a quarter, huh? I think so. I wanna, get, I wanna get a picture. Nice. Put him back. Can't catch up with Casey, but I can catch the big one of the day. It's all it's all because of Casey on the finesse jig. All right, so overall it's been a pretty rough day catching fish. Casey ended up getting on this finesse jig bite. So we're fishing finesse jigs on these kind of like steeper banks in the backs of these creeks, kind of the last, you know, deep water areas. And uh I think we're both fishing 15 pound tests. I got 15 pound of Braze X uh, and, uh, and just a 7.3 medium heavy rod. And we are just kind of bouncing down these steep little banks. And there seems to be some good smallmouth doing it too. Huh, Casey? Yeah, no, it's a pretty solid deal this time of year. You know, the water's dropping, but you know, there's they still got to eat. They're still going to bite. Right. Uh, like the, you can ride the jig bite all the way up until, you know, up into next year, way past the, you know, up until they start spawning. I mean, it shouldn't, yeah. shouldn't really go away. Well, I was surprised that I couldn't get any on a, on a crankbait today. That really surprised me and kind of bummed me out, but glad you found this jig bite, man. It's been a tough day, but at least we were able to get some bites, and it's all because of you, buddy. It's all because <laughs> I of mean, you. It's, I mean, post-frontal, you know, we had a little bit of wind, so, you know, they'll, I think you need a little bit of a wind, wind to bite a jig, right. but it was, you know, it wasn't a moving bait bite type of deal to me, like, like pressure's rising. And the water temp is kind of in a weird position where I don't think that they're quite, like, gorging themselves yeah yet. like not a shat total shad oriented bite yeah all right man so that was a a little bit of a brutal day yeah well first day on the lake you you know you haven't been here yeah. in a while i've never been here that's tip that's pretty typical the first day you get out there you're, you've got nowhere to start and then you start putting it together and then second day is a lot better third right. day when you catch really good or yeah i mean this this ended up like going in the backs of the creeks was probably the best best option because it kind of consolidates 
you know where those fish are going to be and this this pattern is pretty pretty common you know when you go on these yeah. island reservoirs and in either late fall or early winter you you fish the steep banks um that that are the closest to the backs of the creeks you just keep on hitting those those creek channel bends and and those buff walls that seems to be yeah. a pretty and strong it seemed like it was pretty obvious once we ventured further away from this farther back into the creeks the bite the fish got the bites we did get the fish got smaller yeah. not as many bites so it was pretty obvious that staying near the deepest water right. was, was important well i'm just glad man that you got on that finesse jig bite man because i was i was getting a little bit tired not getting bit on the on the little ned rig today which is actually an oddity man usually they're they're all over that ned rig and i got plenty of bites they just weren't of the size we were looking for so that jig really kind of uh ended up being the the deal for the day but Anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. Make sure you check out Casey O'Donnell, his his uh, YouTube channel. What's your YouTube Casey channel? Casey O'Donnell on YouTube, and then Casey O'Donnell, um, uh, Casey P. O'Donnell on Instagram. Right on. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you out on the water.